Hello guys, welcome back. This is Rahim from Revision Chronicles. Hope you all are doing good. In today's video, we are going to speak about how to set and lock for applications in iPhone. Let's get started. So we have an iPhone and once we unlock the iPhone, so we have a lot of applications that do not have any security upfront, right? So we need to make sure that we have the security whether it is our photos or our camera so we do not have any security yet right so let's see how do we get this security added to our iphone without having any third party application installed with a few simple steps once we make the settings no one can access our application without our face id or passcode so now let's quickly see how we can make those settings so for this you need to go and search for the shortcut application. So shortcut application is inbuilt in all the iPhone 14 or iPhone 15 iOS. So once we open the shortcuts application, so you need to go to the automation. After clicking the automation you need to create a personal automation here. So scroll down and you will be seeing an application Then click application. And from here we can choose the applications for which we need to make the settings. So we can for the testing purpose we can simply select, we can select photos. Uh, WhatsApp. HDFC uh, Bank. Okay. So click on done. So once we do done, we get to this screen. After getting to the screen, make sure that is open is selected and simply click on next. Once we click next, we get this page. Click on add action. Search here for timer. Select the start timer option. So we need to set the time here. So basically we can use zero second or one second. So change it to seconds seconds and make this as one second click next so once we do this make sure do the done here yeah again click on this come back make sure you disable this ask before running option don't ask and click on done yeah once you do this come out of this application and go for clock Here, go for timer. Make it one second, and when timer ends, click this and make it as stop playing and set. Once you make this timer settings, when timer ends to stop playing, come out of this application. And now, when you open the photos application or WhatsApp or HDFC bank application that I have opted for app lock, you should ask me for password for my face ID. Let's open the photos and see how it behaves. Yeah, it got logged and until and unless it see my face ID, it will not unlock again. Let's see that now. Yeah, it has recognized my face and able to open the application for me. So guys, similarly I have updated this app lock for HDFC bank as well. Like, let's open the HDFC application and see. Yeah. It got logged and it sees my face ID and recognize me. So guys, this is a very simple method where you can secure our application in iPhones without having any third party application installed in it. So guys, now that we have made all these settings for the shortcuts and we start using these applications, we get these notifications whenever we open any of that application that we are using for app lock. So now let's see how to get rid of these notifications with the simple settings so that it does not annoy us guys let's look at the settings how to disable the pop-up notifications for shortcuts that we created for our app log simply go to the settings select screen time select see all activity under see all activity go down to the notifications tab here and you can simply select the shortcuts okay once you open the shortcuts you need to just disable the notifications here yeah that's it Come out of the settings tab 
And now when we open this application that we have opted for app lock, we should not be seeing the shortcut notifications. Let's check with the photos application to see if we get the notification for shortcut or not. Let's open photos. It should lock now. Yep. And it, we are not able to see any of the shortcut notification with the settings. Well guys, by the simple settings, you can secure your application in iPhone without having any third party application for securing your apps. Well, that's it for today guys. If you find this video to be helpful for you, kindly consider liking this video, commenting and sharing with your family and friends. And also kindly consider subscribing to this channel. It will not only motivate me to make some more stuff, but also help in growing of this channel. Until then guys, stay home, stay safe and bye bye.